This video is designed for new users of DesignWorks for Autodesk Inventor, utilizing portable CM, and in this case, it's the Ferro Arm. We're assuming you've already been through the probing getting started and then laser scanning getting started. This video is going to talk mainly about containment and mesh data. So let's go ahead and you've probably already seen this in the laser scanning getting started. We're going to select the scan tab and go to scan. In the getting started for laser, we've already covered all this. So we're not going to cover the triangles and things. What we're going to mainly be talking about is the containment for clip planes and editing. So in this case, if you wanted to scan this, you could simply start scanning. And we'll do that. We also have the eight axis rotary table up here. So let's just start scanning. In this case, we have the volume turned off so you don't be annoyed during the video. But let's say you want to clip this off by the base or anywhere on the part. So I'll scan a little bit here and then we'll go ahead and scan a little bit towards where pretend like it's sitting on the table. So the clip plane allows you to cut things off that you don't want in your scan. And basically, um, you're going to pick a plane and start sketching on it. If you want to contain it that way, or in this case, we're just going to use the plane. And we'll do it a couple different ways. So here we have uh, a scan. So we got a scan here of the car. But in this case, maybe we don't want this table. It's sitting on the table and we'll also move it around. So a lot of times you don't know where you need the plane at. So it's best to scan a little bit. So let's use the XY. We did the alignment to the base of this table. And if you've been through the laser getting started for Autodesk Inventor, you've already seen it. So let's say you wanted to use this plane to cut something off. Now right now it's right on the edge. You would simply go up to the 3D model tab, select the plane in Inventor, and you'd say offset from plane, whatever amount you want. So let's just drag it or whatever and say we want to go up, uh, I don't know, maybe eighth inch. So this plane runs infinite, as you know. So there's our work plane. You could come back to the Design Works Scan tab, select Scan. In this case, it's active. If it wasn't, you'd have to go ahead and select it, then scan. But we already have a scan in process. Over here on the clip plane, you can select it from the tree. And there's also a clip off the other side. So sometimes you don't know which way the clip plane is going to be. Notice that it cut the whole scan off at the plane. And it gives you a really good edge. So if we continue to scan, you're going to notice that all that's going to be out of your way. So here I'll be obnoxious about it. I'll turn it. And we'll actually shine it on the table more. So you can see the preview line shows you the table. But notice how the clip plane cuts it off for you. All the way around it's infinite. So even if you're on the back of it, back here, it won't see anything. We'll zoom out for you. Now that clip plane can be used anywhere you want. So see the preview line? It's showing what the laser sees. But because the clip plane's there, it's cutting it off. So here's another example. You could make more clip planes. Now, if you want to save this, this is actually saved with the laser data. So if we go back in there, since I jumped out, select scan. You want to say save DZWL STL. Now this isn't modal. So once you jump out and come back in, if you come in here, make sure you pick the plane. And this is when you hit save. And 
that's now saved with it. So if you reloaded that back up, that plane would be saved with it. Now you can also use this at other places. So let's say we wanted to scan some more. We could come and grab that work plane. And no matter which one it is, front, top, right, doesn't really care. We don't have all these turned on. Let's turn one on. Let's say visible. Let's move one of these other ones. So again, it doesn't matter which one it is. Or if you created one. So you could say 3D model, plane, offset from plane. Pull it to where you want it. Maybe you only want the front half of this to there. Now you can only have one at a time. You can't have two active. That's something we're reviewing for futures. So let's say you said, uh, in this case, let's just clear this mesh. We'll go back into scanning. In this case, we'll pick this clip plane. And we'll scan on the front. So now, so when you hear that noise, that means it's on the stop. That's just a little um, option for the Feral Arm Manager. So now, we have it on there. We'll scan up here. And you notice you won't have any data behind there. It's a really great, great way to clip it off. Let's stop and zoom out for a minute. And you can move the little property box anywhere you want. So if you didn't want that um, scanned anywhere else, make a clip plane. Even here we'll, about, we'll split it, put the plane. Notice I'm on one side of it. And you'll see the preview line on the screen. It shows the exact line where you scan. We'll spin this around a little bit. So nice. And again, that plane's infinite. So if we come on the other side of it, it's still going to clip it off. So handy. We'll go down the front of it a little bit. So that's how you use the clip plane. So let's talk about editing this. Let's say you want to come back and edit some of this yourself. You want to cut it off. You don't have two clip planes. If you go into the mesh features, it'll temporarily do it. So let's do that once. We'll go into mesh features. And there is a whole series on the mesh features. Today we're not going to be creating any features. It's just going to be using it for cleanup and cutting things off. You can hit F1 and the hotkeys will come up. So let's say you want to clear some of this off yourself. And this is why we're doing this is in the mesh features, this is just temporary. If you want to save it, we'll go into the other editor and show you how to save it. So you can use the cursor over here for brush, normal, curvature, 3D brush. I'm going to use brush and you also can do that from the hotkeys for B or, or C for curvature. We're going to use the plus key and increase it. So let's say we wanted to cut some of this off. We didn't need it. Now you also can tell it that it's going through the part or just front. So over here, you have front, back, or both. So you can come through here and I can select this and hit the delete key and delete things off. Now, when you do this in Mesh Features, this is temporary. So when I select the, the green checkbox, it's temporary. If you want to save your laser data, you go into 
the other editor. So there's another editor called Edit Mesh. This is where you can permanently delete things and do other things with this, fill holes. Normally with design works and the portable CMMs, you don't have to fill holes and things. We'll cover that a little later. This is mainly showing how to save and erase some things you may not want. So if you hit the F1 key, a new set of menus will pop up. Under the mesh tools up on the top, this is mainly for using uh, design works with other laser scanners that need cleanup and things. You rarely would need this for using it with the Faro. What we're going to talk about mainly is erasing and painting through the part. So you can either have like a round dot or hit the Q key and have a square. The plus key will increase it. And by looking down here, you can be with front and back. Or you also can hit like the U key and go through it. So let's hit U once. Now you may not use this very often, but it's here in case you do. So in this case, we had the clip plane back here. You can have a double clip plane and we still got the table. So you can simply hold on left mouse key and drag it around and get rid of things you don't want. Now remember right now I have it on painting through. So if it was aligned up correctly, it would paint through the part. Hit the delete key to remove things. So let's take a look at it again. Let's say you want to get this on both sides. If you're on, have the U key selected, down here it says through. It'll actually cut all the way through the part. We'll go a little higher. We'll say delete. So cut off on both sides. Again, you probably with, with the ferrule arm um, and it's great laser, you probably won't use any of these, but you can actually uh, do mesh cleanup if you thought there was something wrong with it. You can decimate if it's too big. You can uh, smooth the mesh. And sometimes you may smooth, you can hit M. So just watch if you're smoothing, you don't um, lose some definition. Like we'll hit uh, M for smooth wants us to show you. It'll smooth it out, but it will sometimes roll off edges. But the main reason I want to show you this is how to save this with the laser data. So at this point we erase something. If you forget, so if you do a control S, you can save. Okay, that's the same in um, all the editors for design works or control Z. But once you make some changes, let's say you did a control S, okay, it would save it. But it won't save it the way that we want to show you. So when you're in the editor, if you make any changes, you have to make a change, then hit the, the green checkbox. It'll prompt you. Do you want to update the laser data? Normally it's yes. In the mesh features, when you do this, it does not update the laser data. It does it temporary as you're scanning. So I'm going to say yes. And we'll show you it adds a new uh, extension to the part name. This can take a little while because it's gone all the way back through all the laser data and modifying and changing it. So notice it says edited. By default, it uses the time, date, and stamp. So if it's your part that you want to save it with, you can delete the front off. And you can say, like in this case, um, it was my first scan and I was at 30,000 triangles. But it will always put the edited on there. Know that it was edited. So now when you come back in and you ever want to add to it, you could. So now if you hit scan, it'll load the laser data back up that was edited. This is a really nice feature. Um, about six months ago, we didn't do that. It would add everything to it. Now you will have to keep adding the clip plane. So right now, if you started scanning without the selected, it would show the rest of it. So you want to, in this case, select the clip plane. And if you start scanning, it's rebuilding. Notice the clip planes there and everything you edited is gone. All that extra day at the bottom. So let's say it's the next day and you had to come back and work on this. You can do that. But make sure you know that it doesn't store the plane, clip plane. You have to actually re-pick it.
So it's really nice that you can add to your scans. So many of the other products, you have to remerge and realign all the point cloud. With DesignWorks, you don't have to do that. You can add right back on to where you were at the day before. And again, if you needed to edit that off the bottom, you could, because you really can't have two clip planes. We can spin it so you can see it. So this should help you on utilizing clip planes and using the editor. Stay tuned for more of the DesignWorks training files and have a great day. We appreciate your business.